All right, everybody, Christian Sabir, CPG Recruitment. I want to hone in on pre-screening. Um, I've done an earlier video where we talked about the entire interview process. Something that's very, very important, very helpful is having someone actually pre-screen. Now, what is pre-screening? Pre-screening is application comes in. What are my three points, my non-negotiables that I have to call and ask? For example, um, you apply for a position and my non-negotiables is it has to be in person. You have to have a specific license. Let's say, for example, you have to work Monday to Friday and a Saturday. Let's say, let's throw in a Saturday. It's my non-negotiable. So my pre-screening call when I'm going through 100 applicants, it's, hi, nice to meet you. Thank you for applying. Here's some questions I have for you. Question number one is, do you have a valid driver's license? Yes, perfect. Can you work a Saturday? Yes, perfect. Now I'm gonna jump in on that point right here is when you ask specifically for something like, can you work a Saturday? And you really want to know if they could actually work a Saturday and people aren't just saying yes, just to make you feel better. You do the following is a little bit of a bluff. You say to them, well, I have two positions actually. One position works a Saturday, one position doesn't have a Saturday. What would you prefer? And then now they feel like they have an option. That's how you get the truth out of them. So in that pre-screening, you could do that where someone says, um, yeah, I do want to work a Saturday. And if, if you ask them that bluff question, they'll say to you, um, actually, no, I'd prefer the Saturday because I need the overtime to make more money. Or they'd say, no, I actually would prefer not having the Saturday. I'll take the one, I'll interview for the one without it. Now you've gotten the truth. You always have to remember the pre-screening interview aspect. Everyone's always trying to appease for you. So how could you do this very quickly? So then, you know, my next question was obviously Monday or Friday and can you come in in person? And again, asking, designing these bluff questions of giving them options, saying, I also have another position. And I guess that's my biggest takeaway to you is in a pre-screening is having these bullet points, three points that within literally a one minute conversation, I could extract that information. But the biggest aspect people don't do is actually play a little bit of a bluff. And that's going to be the biggest advice I give you on pre-screening is play a little bit of a bluff. Tell them, I have multiple positions actually. One works a Saturday, one doesn't. Which one would you prefer? Or I have multiple positions. One requires coming in three days a week. One requires coming in full time. What would you prefer to apply for? Being able to do that, whether those positions exist or not, extracts the truth out of people. At the end of the day, I'm on the side of the business, of them finding the right person. And I'm giving you guys a trick to make sure that you're not getting someone to just make you hear what you want to hear and then you find out a month later after you hire them oh i'd prefer not to work saturdays for example so with that use the bluff tool very 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 important that'll make your pre-screening process very efficient the most important thing one more thing to do with the pre-screening process is this could be anybody in the company um, it doesn't have to be a high level person as a matter of fact um, there's different services out there. You could even get a virtual assistant to do this for you. You could have a family member help if you don't have that big of a company. Um, the person, the main hiring manager should not be doing this. This should be somebody vetting ahead of time and doing these calls because obviously the business owner or an executive or hiring manager doesn't have the time to go through a hundred resumes and pre-screen them all. And the most important thing is on that last point that I'll finish on is you have to pre-screen them all because I don't want you getting um, 100 applicants and then you go through the first five and make five phone calls and then feel like the fifth person was good and then you stop. No, I want you to find the best five of the 100. So going through the full 100 applicants is very, 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 very important. It will increase your odds of having the right person. And if you can't physically do that, you need to find somebody to help you because this is a basic task, but it has to be done right. So with those two tools, making sure go through all the applicants and making sure that extract the truth out of people with simple, non-negotiable questions. This isn't an interview and in playing with the bluff tool to extract the truth out of people um, that will allow you to pre-screen a list of 100 down to your top 10 or 15 fairly quickly. And those top 10, 15 will transition over to an actual interview of which you could schedule an interview. Um, with a recruiter or hiring manager, et cetera. Stay tuned, guys. Hey, thanks for watching our content. Listen, if you're running a business and you're struggling to find staff, I want to introduce myself. My name is Christian Saab. I own CPG Recruitment, and I help companies across North America find the people that they need to find. Listen, a great business cannot be built unless you've got great people. You and I both understand that having the right people on your team is so important. And that's where I could come in and help you. So listen, I want you to shoot me a text message. Here's my direct cell phone. 
have my number, reach out to me. I'd love to hear your story and get to know what you're trying to accomplish. And that way maybe I can help you fix this problem.